Hello and welcome to Raw Talk, where we talk photography. Usually real estate photography, that's my niche, but that's what I love to do. But today we're gonna to talk about photo editing, video editing, and the workstation I use. So we're gonna go over my desk setup. So in a nutshell, this is what you're looking at. When I shoot all day, I shoot a few houses, I come home, I set up here, I use my laptop during the day. So Every shoot, I dump the photos to my laptop, organize them, get them ready, and when I get home, I just plug it in here, set it up, turn it on, and everything's working. Easy setup, looks nice. I'm actually in my basement of my house, but it's nicely done down here, and I love it. So let's get going with what I use and what I recommend. So right away, sorry, I'm gonna turn on you. I got my notes on my iPad here. Let's start right at the top. You need a good monitor, no matter what you're doing with photography, video, content creation, great monitor helps. I use the ViewSonic VP3256. It's a 4K monitor, 32 inch. So previous to this, I was using a 27 inch. I went to 32 and it's amazing. The other thing is this thing has color accuracy that, oh, I just love it. It says here, super clear IPS panel with 100% sRGB, frameless design, and yeah, it's, I love it. So sitting on here, I just have this little bevel top. Um, everything you see with the desk, I don't wanna get into the desk too much because it's boring, but all the stuff will be in the show notes. This little tabletop display, the tabletop itself, these drawers on each side. You'll see a drawer on this side too. These two drawers, the top sits right on there, all Ikea. Uh, the little stand that sits, the laptop sits on, Ikea, just plastic. You'll see it in the show notes. So the monitor, that's where you have to view everything, edit, make sure you have color accuracy and a great monitor goes a long way. It's just like when you're shooting pictures, the glass is the biggest thing, your lens. So in, when you're editing, the monitor is huge. Next, the brains of the operation. So I use an HP MV360 laptop. So this laptop, I got at Costco here in Canada. It goes for about 1,500 about, and it's super light. I love the, how light it is. I got one with a 17 inch, and why I did 17 inch is whenever I have time in between shoots, if I have an hour, I'm at a coffee shop working. So if I'm working on photos, whatever, I like a big screen and that's what this got and love it. Love it. Super light. And it's also got the touch screen. My last one was a touch screen and it's funny cause I could never go back now. Um, it's funny when you're working on a web page or some things you could just touch the screen instead of playing with the button on your mouse and efficiency is huge. So I love the efficiency of that. Um, behind everything, I use Logitech keyboard, mouse, it has the unifying receiver. So you just plug this into the laptop. It stays in my USB all the time. So this stays home, these two, keyboard and mouse, but I bought a second mouse and it uses the same receiver. So that one stays in my laptop bag. So when I'm working at a coffee shop, pull out the mouse, just turn it on, it's wireless, works great. Um, after that, let's see, we got laptop, keyboard, mouse, the Loop Deck Live. So this little device right here, I use the Loop Deck Live. You'll see that it's lit up right now. It's actually on. I'll bring it a little closer. I have to unplug it though. So this is the Loop Deck Live. Um, it's got dials and buttons. You can customize everything on it. And what's awesome for Lightroom, I adjust these dials. So wheels get too many blues, too much yellows. I just adjust this so I can just dial it in, dial it out. I want to take some of the yellows out. I have all my presets set on the screen and then you have numbers down here. So these presets can change for the develop module, grid module. If you're working on, I'm real estate, maybe I'm working on portraits. So I can change all this to portraits. So it's presets, Lightroom piece of presets. You can make it whatever you want and set the dials wherever you want. The dials also have a push button. You could push it and change it. So say this was blue, I'm adjusting blue and I wanted to change the oranges. I push it and it switches to oranges and it will show up on here. Tell me exactly what it has on right now. After that, DaVinci Resolve is what I love using for video editing. 
So I got the speed editor. So there's videos online. I don't have one myself. That's how I learned to use the speed editor. So I first started with DaVinci Resolve because it's free. And then because I'm a business, I actually bought it. And when I bought it a couple years ago, it came with this key speed editor. I was like, what the heck is that? So when you edit right, you can just insert in, out, fades, everything. And this is a jog dial. You can edit so quick. It's so sweet that way. So that's about the peripherals, devices and how to use it, how everything hooks up. Behind the scenes here, you'll see it. I got a little USB-C, I forget what they call it, adapter. Eh, let me look it up here, docking station. So my monitor, the HDMI goes to the docking station. My inputs go to the docking station. And when I come home, I have one USB-C on the side of the laptop and a power. So I set my laptop down, plug it in, turn it on, and everything just works. It works great, I love it, convenience. With this tray here I got from Ikea, the little plastic one, all the cables just tuck underneath, hide it away so I don't have to see it. After that, when I, I'm working on photos, I love to listen to music. So I've got the Sonos SL1s here, and those things sound awesome. I love the sounds of them. Uh, rock it out when nobody's home here and play some good music. And you can hook it up to your YouTube, Spotify, whatever. Play your lists up anywhere. And great app, great system. Sonos, I love your products. Um, behind the monitor, you'll see some lights. You'll see some blue. Well, this, I have a little button here. It's the Govi lights. So for the background of most of my videos, I can change it. It could do different effects. So you can see the rainbow there going. So depends what you want to do. It also has this little monitor, this little, it's actually a little camera. So whatever you're watching here, it'll show in the background the colors that I'm actually of that, whatever's on the TV or on the screen. So really cool with movies. It's neat. It's different. Geeky. Well, we're all geeks that way. So that's the lighting over here. We have the Beats Solo 3s. So I have kids and up above me, sometimes they're playing, running around, making noise. So just put on the headphones to take all the distractions out. Love the Beats. Right in front of me, my iPhone sits on an anchor charging station. I love it because it just sits right here. I see it. If someone texts me, sends me a message, pops up, it's right in my face. Next up. You gotta have your coffee. Let's have a sip of coffee. I forgot to start out like I did the last one. Let's have a coffee. If it's the afternoon, have your beer. So my coffee, I bought this little station here on Amazon or somewhere. It's a little coffee warmer. And as soon as I set it down, there's a little click. It actually turns on and keeps my coffee nice and hot. I love that. Sometimes you get working, you forget you even have the coffee and it's like, oh, it's so nice when it's nice and hot. Well, that's the core of my workstation. So everything, when I come home, I just plug in, I get working, send it all away on the back end. Yeah, I'm using a Windows. As you know, I'm HP, so you don't see an Apple. I am a Windows guy. I have a Windows background, actually certified. I used to be an IT guy, so that's why I prefer Windows. It's nothing against it. I use the iPhone, so who knows? Maybe the next be a Mac or whatever. Because I am so portable through the day, I do love the laptop setup and monitor versus the desktop. And this thing has enough power so I can edit my videos on it and it works really great. Even for deeper, I use VPN. So Nord VPN, I'll send my link down there. If you're working in coffee shops, airports, in public, any public Wi-Fi, you should use a VPN to protect you and your data. So I use Nord VPN. So there's a link down below, check it out. They are super cheap for three or $4 a month. It has you protected. Definitely worth it, worth looking into. Um, all my files, I used to have a server, a big server for all my files. As you know, we were dealing with raw files for photos. We're dealing with image, like video files are huge. I used to use a server. I use it, it used to be my primary thing for accessing files. Now it's my backup. My main storage is Google Drive. I use Google Drive for everything. I changed it a year ago. It's awesome for me. I have a staff person. She can access the files anytime. I can control everything. I used to be an IT guy, so who can see what? And for sharing, awesome. You put your video files on there, share the folder to your video editor, or if someone needs to see them or the final product's too big, you just fire it off. So Google Drive is the 
where all my data goes. Uh, I strongly recommend it for everybody. Uh, I know me too. I work in coffee shops wherever I'm go on holidays. I can access my files from anywhere. I just need internet and so worth the change. And it's all in the cloud. I believe I pay around $40 per user. So that's per user on that. So $40 unlimited storage and put as much as you want on it. You, you got all the security and everything. So that's the back end. So yeah, again, Windows, Google Drive, love Google. I'm a big Google fan. Used, used to have a Google phone before the iPhone. So just changed this time. Love my music and that's it in a nutshell. That's my desk and this is my little home around it. Yeah, I've got some, you can't see it probably in the picture. You got Star Wars clock over here, some old cameras, some new gear. And I use this for my background for my videos too. We got a tree from Ikea. We got Yoda back here, the printer. Oh, I should mention the printer. So I'm using an Epson. 3760, I got this Costco two, three years ago. I'm still on the original ink and they're not even halfway. So these are those super tanks they call them. Oh, they work great. I was skeptical. I've been an IT guy, as I said, and you buy the printer and it seems like you're spending so much on ink, not these things. I think this was a, I'm in Canada, so about $400 printer. So probably hundred dollars in the US. Um, so worth it. I used to be worry about printing color. Now it's like, who cares? Yeah, the ink lasts forever. So, and beyond that desk, we have a staples is what we call it here. Office Depot, depends where you are. I think it's a Serta. Get a good chair. This one is super comfy, super, oh, it just feels good on your butt. Love it. So get a good chair, make sure it's ergonomic. Just like my keyboard here, I forgot to mention that. My ergonomic keyboard. It's got padded down here. I love it. Extra buttons for the audio and listening to music. And that's a nutshell. So if you love this video, hit thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm going to do more of these raw talks, just talking real estate photography, photography, whatever. And all the links to everything I've talked about is in the notes before below. Appreciate if you use those links because that's how I get paid to do these videos. They're all affiliate links and I appreciate you watching. I hope you learned something new and check these products out and let me know what you use. I want to hear what you use, recommend what I could do to improve. So. Thanks for watching. And if you didn't watch my last video, I was talking about what's in my bag. So if you want to learn about my gear, what I use, how I use it, be sure to watch that video in the link, one or one of these corners, probably here. All right, thanks and see you next time. Bye.